the nectar of devotion. Gurmash, I will mute everyone one more time, Gurmash. Okay. And then I ask you to unmute. Oh. Okay. Today, we will read the Nam Thi Phang Kan Uthi Tun Se Sala Bodhi Sipok. Okay, chapter 16 is entitled Spontaneous Devotional Service, further described. And we're reading from the section Eligibility for Spontaneous Devotional Service. แล้วเนี่ยก็อ่านจากบทที่ all right, so we're hearing about how a devotee wants to follow in the footsteps of a great devotee in Vrindavan, like Nanda Maharaj or Mother Yashoda or the gopis. So that kind of activity, that is called Raganuga Bhakti. All right, so Prabhupada says we must always remember, however, that such eagerness to follow in the footsteps of the denizens of Braja, Vrindavan, is not possible unless one is freed from material contamination. So you somebody may be thinking I want to do Raganuga Bhakti. You have to understand you have to be very advanced. จะมาคนอาจจะบอกว่าอยากจะทําราชการนุกาบกติคือเราจะต้องจําไว้ก่อนว่าจะต้องเป็นบุคคลที่เอ่อพัฒนามากๆนะ so, so Prabhupada said, following the regulated principles of devotional service, there's a stage called Anatta Nivriti. So anatta nivriti means the disappearance of all the material contamination. So sometimes somebody is found imitating such devotional love. But actually they're not they haven't got rid of all the unwanted habits. They still have many anarchists, they still have bad habits. So we see that sometimes people are, they say they're devotees and they say they're following Nanda. Maharaj or Mother Yashoda or the gopis, but at the same time, they're doing terrible activities, like they may even be engaging in mundane sex life. So to make a show, to make a show of that kind of love for Krishna is just imitation. It doesn't have any meaning. 
การทําแสดงอาการเป็นความรักแบบนั้นแบบลอกเลียนแบบเนี่ยแต่มันแล้วก็ไม่ได้มีความรู้สึกจริงๆอ่ะมันเป็นแค่การแสดงเฉย But when somebody is actually naturally attracted to the loving affairs of Krishna and the gopis, then there will be no trace of any contamination in their character. แต่ถ้าเกิดว่าใครเนี่ยมีมีการปฏิบัติตรงนี้อย่างจริงจังโดยที่ไม่ได้มีการอวดอ้างตนเองเนี่ยมันก็แปลว่าสามารถเชื่อเขาได้ในการกระทำของเขา So Prabhupada says. In the beginning, everybody must follow strictly the regulative principles. ดังนั้นเซฟวานทรงแนะนำบอกว่าในตอนเริ่มต้นเนี่ยทุกคนเนี่ยควรที่จะปฏิบัติตามกฎระเบียบข้อบังคับเนี่ยอย่างจริงจัง We have to follow the instructions of the spiritual master and all the rules which are given in the scriptures. ดังนั้นเราควรที่จะปฏิบัติตามกฎระเบียบที่พระอาจารย์ทรงแนะนำไว้แล้วก็ทุกกฎระเบียบที่ได้กล่าวไว้ในพระเวท And only after we get to this stage of liberation from material contamination can we actually think about following in the footsteps of the people of Vrindavan. แล้วก็เมื่อเราเนี่ยมีคุณสมบัติตรงนั้นแล้วที่จะปฏิบัติตามกฎระเบียบอย่างอย่างดีได้แล้วเนี่ยหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยก็คุก็ค่อยที่จะมาเจริญรอยตามสาวกได้ So Sri l a r u p a Goswami says if we when when a person is actually liberated from material contamination then he will always remember an eternal associate in Vrindavan ตรงนี้นะ r u p a Goswami ทรงได้กล่าวว่าเมื่อบุคคลหลุดพ้นจากมณฑินทางวัตถุจริงเขาสามารถระลึกถึงสาวกนิรันดรที่บรินดาบัน And he want he will want to love Krishna in the same way as that devotee in Vrindavan does. แล้วเขาก็จะอยากรักคริชนาในรูปแบบเดียวกันกับที่สาวกแต่ชาวบรินดาบันเนี่ยทำ And we can de to develop and if we want to develop that that mood that that ability. Then we should always we should actually go and live in Vrindavan. แต่ถ้าเกิดเราอยากจะพัฒนาอารมณ์นั้นจริงๆเนี่ยเราก็ควรที่จะไปอยู่ที่บรินดาบัน And if you cannot go and live in Vrindavan physically, then at least within your mind you must live in Vrindavan. ถ้าเกิดเราไม่สามารถที่จะไปด้วยร่างกายนี้ไปอยู่ที่บรินดาบันด้วยร่างกายนี้แต่ด้วยระดับจิตใจเนี่ยเราควรที่จะ So if it's possible, one should go physically live in Vrindavan. And we should always be in, when we're in Vrindavan. We should always be serving Krishna. We should follow the devotees of Vrindavan. ปฏิบัติเจริญรอยตามสาวกที่บรินดาบัน But if it's not possible to physically go to Vrindavan, then at least within our mind we should go. แต่ถ้าเกิดว่ามันเป็นไปไม่ได้ในการที่เราจะเดินทางไปที่บรินดาบันเองแบบนั้นเนี่ยแต่ว่าด้วยจิตใจเนี่ยอย่างน้อยด้วยร่างกายเราควรที่จะไป So wherever we may be, we can we should always think about life in Vrindavan. And try to follow in the footsteps of a, a special devotee, and think about how they serve Krishna. And try to follow in the footsteps of a special devotee, and think about ผู้บริสุทธิ์ที่พวกเขาเนี่ยคอยระลึกถึงคริสต์นาอยู่เสมอ So if somebody is actually advanced in Krishna consciousness, then they will be constantly engaged in devotional service. สำหรับบุคคลที่มีความก้าวหน้าในชีวิตทิพย์เนี่ยเขาจะปฏิบัติคริสต์นาจะสำเนาอยู่เสมอ Sorry, 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 Guna. And the, the, the devotee should not 
show himself to be advanced. He shouldn't make a show that oh he's a great devotee and let people know I'm in the, I'm doing Raganuga Bhakti, I'm a great devotee. They shouldn't want to be conspicuous. But the devote he should always act like he's a neophyte devotee. And he should act like that, like a neophyte devotee. As long as the material body is there, he should think it's a neophyte devotee. And so we have to follow the regulative principles even if we become even if we're a pure devotee we have to follow the regulative principles but when he understands his actual position in relationship to krishna then he can he can follow he can he can also at that time follow the regulative principles and think of himself in relation to Krishna under the guidance of a pure devotee. So then Prabhupada goes on to warn us about one deviation. There's a, a group of people who who deviate, they have a, a, a teaching which is not correct. And they're, they're, these people are called the Siddha Pranali process. They do the Siddha Pranali and it, it's not bona fide. <laughs> So Prabhupada explains that people who follow the Siddha Pranali process are not authorized and they've manufactured their own way of serving Krishna. They think that they become associates of Krishna just because they're thinking of themselves like that. But this is this behavior is not according to the regulative principles. So this Siddha Pranali process, this is followed by people who are called Prakrita Sahajas, which means people who take everything cheap. Yeah, they claim to be devotees, but they're not they're not really bona fide. So Rupa Goswami said that their their process just simply creates a disturbance to the actual process of devotional service. Rupa Goswami says that the, the Acharyas recommend that we follow the regulative principles even after we've come to the stage of spontaneous love for Krishna. 
ท่านรูปโกสามีและท่านอาจารย์ของเราได้บอกผู้มีคุณวุฒิเนี่ยทรงแนะนําเราว่าเราเนี่ยควรที่จะปฏิบัติตามหลักธรรมเสมอแม้หลังจากที่เราเนี่ยปฏิบัติรู้ถึงระดับความรักของพระผู้เป็นเจ้าแล้วก็ตาม So some people think because if because they're doing raganuga bhakti, they think they don't have to follow the principles, but that's not true. บางคนเนี่ยคิดว่าตัวเองเนี่ยปฏิบัติ raganuga bhakti จึงไม่มีความจำเป็นที่จะต้องปฏิบัติตามกฎระเบียบแล้ว So there are nine different processes of devotional service. มันมีอยู่ทั้งหมดเก้าวิธีในการอุทิศตนเสียสละรับใช้ So one should know which particular process one has a special ability to perform. แล้วเราบุคคลเนี่ยก็ควรที่จะรู้ว่าบุคคลเนี่ยมีคุณมีคุณสมบัติที่จะปฏิแบบไหน For example, somebody may they may be very eager to hear. They like to hear, and other people their interest is more in chanting. And somebody else, their their interest may just simply be to do service for the devotees and for Krishna. Some people they like to offer prayers and they like to pray all day. They just offer prayers all the time. แต่บางคนเนี่ยก็ชอบการที่จะถวายบทอธิษฐานให้กับคริสต์นา And some people, some people like to have a friendly relationship and talk friendly with Krishna and with the devotees. บางคนเนี่ยก็ชอบ And some people want to give everything. They want to surrender everything to Krishna. But some people want to give everything to Krishna. But some people want to give everything to Krishna. But some people want to give everything to Krishna. So every, people have to know what is their particular taste. What do they like to do? Which way do they like to serve Krishna? Some people want to know what their particular taste. What do they like to do? Which way do they like to serve Krishna? Okay, the next section is called conjugal love. ส่วนต่อไปก็คือความรักแบบคู่สมรส So following in the footsteps of the gopis of Vrindavan or the queens of Dwarka is called devotional service in conjugal love. การอุทิศตนเสียสละรับใช้ที่จะเรียนรอยตามเท้าของพวกโกปีเนี่ยก็คือความรักแบบความสัมพันธ์ฉันคู่ฉันคู่สมรส So this service can be divided into two two categories. One is indirect love, and the other is direct. เพราะฉะนั้นการอุทิศตนเสียสละแบบนี้เนี่ยสามารถแบ่งออกเป็นสองประเภทก็คือประเภทที่หนึ่งคือการอุทิศตนเสียสละรับใช้โดยอ้อมและอีกประเภทหนึ่งคือโดยตรง But in both both categories, you have to follow the particular devotee who is engaged in the service in Goloka Vrindavan. แล้วในนี้เนี่ยก็คือก็ต้องปฏิบัติตามสาวกที่เป็นผู้ปฏิบัติการรับใช้เช่นนี้ในที่ Goloka Vrindavan. So to be attached, to be directly attached to Krishna in conjugal love, the technical name it is called Kali. แล้วความรักประเภทนี้เนี่ยการยึดมั่นโดยตรงกับกฤษณาเนี่ยในความรักแบบผู้สมรสเรียกว่าเคลี So เคลี means to directly join with Krishna เคลี่เนี่ยหมายถึงการเชื่อมกับกฤษณาโดยตรง So there's you you get some devotees they don't want to directly connect with Krishna they just want to relish the the pastimes of Krishna with the gopis เพราะเราจะเห็นได้ว่าบางคนเนี่ยอาจจะไม่ได้มีความอยากที่จะเชื่อมกับคริสต์นาโดยตรง These kind of devotees they just they just enjoy hearing about the activities of Krishna with the gopis they don't actually take part ประเภทนี้เนี่ยคือเขาก็จะชอบการที่แบบว่า
ชอบฟังเฉยๆกับ Krishna แต่ไม่ได้อยากจะมีส่วนร่วมอะไร So hearing about Krishna with the gopis that's one way of enjoying but the other way of enjoying is to actually be there and enjoy with Krishna แล้วก็สาวประเภทนี้เนี่ยคือเราก็มีความสุขเหมือนกันที่ได้มามาสัมผัสกับพระองค์แต่เป็นสัมผัสแบบทางอ้อมไม่ใช่แบบทางตรง So this kind of conjugal love, this is only possible for people, for those devotees who are already following the regulated principles. Ah, uh, แบบนี้เนี่ยก็คือสาวกที่เอ่อปฏิบัติตามเอ่อกฎระเบียบของพระเวท And they have to be worshiping Radha and Krishna in the temple. ลาดังบูชาราดาคริสต์ที่วัด So then, the devotee gradually develops spontaneous love for the deity. ความรักแบบนี้เนี่ยสาวกมีให้แต่กับพระปฏิมาได้ And they hear about Krishna's affairs with the gopis, and they become attracted to these pastimes. แล้วเขาก็ได้ยินเรื่องราวความรักของคริสต์นากับพวกโกปีแล้วเขาก็ชื่นชอบ And so then, when they're hearing about Krishna's pastimes, their attraction becomes more and more stronger. And then, one point, then they're actually placed either directly or indirectly into the relationship with Krishna. So when they are very much in love with this love, they are very much in love with this love. They are very much in love with this love. They are very much in love with this love. They are very much in love with this love. They are very much in love with this love. They are very much in love with this love. This development of conjugal love for Krishna is not manifest only in women. ซึ่งความรักแบบสมรสแบบนี้เนี่ยมันไม่ได้ปรากฏในผู้ปฏิบัติที่เป็นสาวกผู้หญิงเท่านั้น A man may also have conjugal love for Krishna. ผู้ชายเนี่ยก็สามารถมีความรู้สึกแห่งความรักกับคริสนาได้เหมือนกัน Because it does our love for Krishna doesn't depend on our material body. เราความที่เรามีต่อคริสนามันไม่ได้ขึ้นอยู่กับร่างกายที่เป็นวัตถุนี้ของเรา The pastimes of Krishna are spiritual, and we love Krishna with our spiritual body. เพราะความรักที่เรามีต่อคริสนาเนี่ยเป็นทิพย์เพราะฉะนั้นเรานี้ก็รักพระองค์จากร่างทิพย์ So a woman, she may have, a, she may want to become a friend of Krishna, and a man may want to develop the mood like a gopi for Krishna. ก็ทำผู้หญิงเนี่ยอาจจะเป็นอยากจะเป็นเพื่อนกับคริสนาแล้วก็ผู้ชายเนี่ยอยากจะรักคริสนาแบบคู่สมรสก็เป็นได้ So a devotee, in, um, some man devotee, a male devotee, he may want to become a gopi. แล้วก็สาวที่เป็นผู้ชายเนี่ยบางคนอาจจะอยากเป็นโกปีก็ได้ And in the past there were many great sages who lived in the forest in the time of Lord Ramachandra ในอดีตเนี่ยมีพวกนักบุญทั้งหลายพวกฤาษีทั้งหลายเนี่ยที่อยู่ในป่าแล้วก็อยากจะเจอกับพระองค์เจ้าร่างสาวของพระราม So the name of the forest they were living in was called the Danda Karanya ป่าที่พวกเขาอาศัยอยู่เนี่ยชื่อว่าดันดาคารัญญา And Lord Ramachandra was there. He he was sent there by his father to stay there for fourteen years. And at that time, these great sages met him. แล้วก็เขาก็อยู่ที่นั่นแล้วก็ได้เอาคุณพ่อเนี่ยก็ส่งไปเพราะว่าจะได้พูดคุยกับเหล่าฤาษีทั้งหลาย And these sages, when they saw Lord Ramachandra, they saw it so beautiful. That they desired to become women and to have a relationship with him. And for for the sea, we have seen that the Param Param is so beautiful that they feel that they want to have a relationship with him. So in the next incarnation, Lord Rama became Krishna, and these sages they came there as gopis. And in the next incarnation, Lord Rama became Krishna, and these sages they came there as gopis. So in this way, the gop as gopis, they became the girlfriends of Krishna, and they could enjoy a loving 
friendship with Krishna. So Prabhupada tells a story about how Lord Ramachandra went to the forest. So the sages they were they were doing devotional service. And they, when they saw Lord Ramachandra, then they thought of the gopis in Vrindavan. They wanted to enjoy loving friendship with Lord Rama, but Lord Rama told them, I cannot do it in this life because I only have one wife in this life. But he told them, you come in my next life, my next incarnation, and that time I can satisfy your desire. So the sages in their next life, they became gopis in Vrindavan. And Lord Rama, he became Lord Krishna. So they knew that Krishna and Rama are the same person. And Lord Krishna, because Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, he could he could enjoy all the women, he could enjoy all the gopis and satisfy all the desires. Lord Rama, he only took one wife, but Krishna could enjoy with many wives. And the form of Lord Krishna was even more attractive than the form of Lord Rama. Mm. So the sages were happy to become gopis in their next life and enjoy with Lord Krishna. So all these sages, they, they were born in the womb of the women of the gopis there in Gokula. And at that time, Krishna was there in Gokula, and they could enjoy friendship with him. So conjugal love is divided into two classifications. There's conjugal love as a husband and wife, and conjugal love as a lover and beloved. So you can, one conjugal love is where people are married and the other one is where they're not married. So it's, if one develops conjugal love for Krishna as a wife, then they're promoted to Dwarka, and the devotee becomes one of the queens of Krishna in Dwarka. So that's with marriage there, you associate with Krishna in marriage. And 
But if a devotee wants to have conjugal love with Krishna and be just like a lover without marriage, then they go to Goloka Vrindavan to associate with the gopis. So we should understand conjugal love for Krishna may be either as a gopi or as a queen. Okay, but it's not only for women. <laughs> Men can also have that love with Krishna. Just like Lord Chaitanya and all of these associates of Lord Chaitanya, they were all men, but they all had great love for Krishna, like the mood of the gopis. And also the sages at Dandakaranya, we just told about them. They were men, but they also loved Krishna. So sometimes somebody wants to have conjugal love with Krishna, but they don't follow in the example, they don't follow the path of the gopis. So in that case, then they have to go to Dwarka and they they have the association with Krishna in Dwarka, not in Vrindavan. And from the from the Maha Kurma Purana it said Great sages were the sons of the fire gods and they rigidly followed the regulative principles because they desired to have conjugal love with Krishna. So in the next life, they were able to associate with Krishna. Krishna is the origin of all creation and he is known as Vasudev or Krishna. And all of them, all of these sages got to have Krishna as their husband. So if they took him, it means they became gopis or they became queens. They were not, they, they took women's bodies. They were great sages, but they became women. All right, now next parenthood or friendship. So devotees who are attracted to Krishna as parents or as friends, they should follow in the footsteps of Nanda Maharaj who's a parent, the father, or a Subal, who's a friend. So Nanda Maharaj is the, he's, he's the, of course, he's the father of Krishna, foster, foster father of Krishna. And out of all of the friends of Krishna, Subal is the closest friend in Vrindavan. 
แล้วก็ซึ่งนันดมาราชเนี่ยเป็นพระบิดาของกฤษณาแล้วก็สุบาลเนี่ยเป็นเพื่อนที่สนิทมากที่สุดของกฤษณาที่เป็นดาวน์ so in becoming either the father or the friend of Krishna there are two varieties เพราะในการที่จะเป็นเพื่อนกับกฤษณาหรือว่าเป็นคุณพ่อของกฤษณาเนี่ยมีอยู่ด้วยกันสองประเภท So one method is one can try to become the father of Krishna directly. ในรูปแบบหนึ่งก็คือบุคคลสามารถที่จะพยายามที่จะเป็นคุณพ่อของกฤษณาโดยตรง Or we can follow Nanda Maharaj and become and take the i the ideal of being Krishna's father, following the example of Nanda Maharaj. แล้วอย่างหนึ่งก็คือปฏิบัติตาม So it's not recommended to try to become Krishna's own father. We can get, we can become Maya bodies with that kind of thinking. The Maya bodies, they always think that they are Krishna. And they think that he, he, that they can become also Nanda Maharaj. But that is Maya Vadi philosophy. So the Maya Vadi philosophy is an offense, and no offender can enter into Goloka or into Dwarka. Into the, you cannot go back to Godhead. And associate with Krishna if you're an offender. And in that, it's a concept of the Maya Vadi. So, the Pradya Maya Vadi, like this, will not allow you to enter the Raja Vadi. So, you have to learn the Raja Vadi first. To go back to Godhead, you have to be without any sin. To go back to Godhead, you have to be without any sin. So, you can't. To go back to Godhead, you have to be without any sin. So, you can't. You have to. You cannot be. You cannot be offensive. Then, if you go back to Godhead, you have to. ไม่มีอาบัตเสกอนไม่ไม่สัไม่เป็นคนแบบนี้ไปไหม So then in the Skanda Purana there's a story about an old man who lived in Hastinapur which was the capital of the Pandus ก็ในสตางค์ปุราณะเนี่ยได้บอกไว้เออได้อธิบายไว้ถึงบุคคลที่อาศัยอยู่ในเมืองนั้นในราชอาณาจักรของพันดุ So this old man desired to have Krishna as his son. So Narada Muni instructed him to follow in the footsteps of Nanda Maharaj. Narada Muni เนี่ยจึงให้คำแนะนำกับชายชราผู้นี้ให้เจริญรอยตามเท้าของนันดมาราช And in this way, the old man was successful. Krishna became his son. แล้วก็ในลักษณะนี้เนี่ยชายชราท่านนี้ก็ประสบความสำเร็จนายกุชนาก็ได้เขาก็ได้เป็นคุณพ่อของกุชนา And then there's another statement in the Narayana Vyuhastava prayers where it says that persons who are always engaged in thinking of Krishna as their husband or their friend or father or well wisher are always worshipped by are always worshipable by everyone. ก็มีข้อความในนารายณะวายุหะสวาสตวาวะภาวนาว่าบุคคลผู้คิดว่าองค์พระขวานเนี่ยทรงเป็นสามีเช่นเพื่อนบิดาหรือผู้ปรารถนาดีจะได้รับการบูชาจากทุกคน So this this kind of spontaneous love for Krishna can de can develop only by the special mercy of Krishna or his pure devotee ความรักโดยธรรมชาติที่มีต่อกฤษณะเช่นนี้เนี่ยจะมีการพัฒนาได้ก็ด้วยพระเมตตาพิเศษของกฤษณะและสาวกผู้บริสุทธิ์ของพระองค์นั้น So this process of วิธีการปฏิบัติเช่นนี้เนี่ยจะเรียกว่า pushti mark Push ทีเนี่ยหมายถึงการเลี้ยงดูแล้วก็มาร์กแปลว่าวิธี So this kind of development, this kind of mood 
of doing devotional service can come to it can develop to the highest stage. So, so this is uh, the, the sometimes called the path of nourishment or just simply push the mark. So this path, this process is taught by the people who follow the Balaba Sampradaya. Balaba Sampradaya is also is connected to Vishnu Swami, which is also one of the four Vaishnava Paramparas. Balaba Sampradaya Vishnava Vishnu Swami. And they worship Krishna like that in Pushti Mark. And Prabhupada says often people from Gujarat they will worship Krishna as Bala Krishna as a young child under this kind of heading of Pushti Mark. จะรู้กันที่เอ่อกุกุจราตเนี่ยเค้าจะบูชาบัลลังก์คริชนาแล้วก็ภายใต้ชื่อของพุชติมาร์คคือเป็นแบบเป็นผู้ปกครองเป็
And that love which comes from her heart is more glorious than the sunshine. So only at that time is the attachment to Krishna perfect. Spontaneously the devotee becomes eager to serve Krishna in his ecstatic love. At this stage, the devotee is on the platform of Uttama Adhikari, perfect devotion. Such a devotee has no agitation from material affections and is interested only in the service of Radha and Krishna. Okay, in the previous chapters, we heard the symptoms of devotional service. And we got instructions on in how we could do devotional service with our present senses and gradually, gradually come to the platform of serving Krishna in ecstasy, in love. การวิตนเสียสารับใช้ด้วยประสาทสัมผัสปัจจุบันของเราได้อย่างไรแล้วค่อยๆที่จะเจริญขึ้นมาในระดับแห่งความเริ่มปฏิสุขในความรักตามธ
เป็นกิจกรรมความเริ่มปิติสุขที่อยู่ภายในหัวใจ Just like we see the shivering of the body so also shedding of tears these are signs of ecstasy แล้วเมื่อมีความเริ่มปิติสุขแบบนี้อย่างต่อเนื่องเนี่ยก็คืออยู่ในระดับแห่งความเริ่มปิติสุข So the ecstasy it will appear externally but then it will also it will stay within the mind อันนี้นะก็เป็นอาการที่มันจะแสดงออกมาทางร่างกายก็คือน้ำตาไหลตัวสั่นอะไรอย่างนี้แต่ว่ามันก็จะมีระดับที่อยู่ในจิตใจด้วยหรือระดับภายในด้วยความปลื้มปิติภายใน And the, when the ecstasy continues, then it's called samadhi. แต่เมื่อความเพิ่มไปที่สุขแบบนี้เนี่ยมีอย่างต่อเนื่องเนี่ยจะเรียกว่าสมาธิ So this stage becomes the cause of exchanges of love with Krishna. แล้วก็ในระดับนี้เนี่ยคือเป็นระดับแห่งความเพิ่มไปที่สุขที่ชื่นชอบแล้วก็พึงพอใจในความรักแบบมีความแลกเปลี่ยนกับ Krishna. Okay, we're going to stop here today. And we will go on tomorrow. Ah, uh, on uh, Thursday. Are there any questions? Me, come to me, ha. Yes, Grash from Shaya. From Vishnu Priya. Okay, Jale. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Then about pranam, please accept my humble obeisances according to Sri Lopan. So, Guru Maharaj, um, I think my fiance, um, is Prakriti, um, Sahadya Guru Maharaj. Prakriti. Sahaja, you think so? Yes. At first, I don't understand. Um, we have cool about about many about practicing. At first, I don't understand because I follow Iskon. I follow Guru Parampara only. Uh -huh. but we have some problem until now. Really? So I don't know how should advise me, Guru Maharaj. Yes. Well, you don't go ahead to marry him yet if you're still having problems. You have to wait. You don't want to rush into a marriage and then regret it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I should take time to discuss with him because he believes that um, he can practice in Rakanuka Bhakti. But this class is make me very clear. Is yes. Well, what is he doing to practice? You mean what? How much is what is he practice? What is he doing? Nowadays, he didn't practice in like mm, didn't chant sixteen round. So I don't <laughs> because because he said like about Rakanuka non serious so. No, but but I'm I am serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think he's very serious. So he's not really practicing. If he's not even chanting sixteen rounds, then he's not doing Raganuga Bhakti. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry. So, Guru Maharaj, but I prepare about about myself to some preaching about about Thai people. I am afraid about if I married him, I will have some problem in the future. Um, I don't know, Guru Maharaj, how should I do? Well, don't marry yet. You wait and get to know him more. You have to be sure that you can get along with each other. If you're going to have fighting and quarreling, it's not good. You know, if he's always going to be wanting you to change and he doesn't want you to do this, he doesn't want you to fall, then it will be a problem. Mm -hmm. 
Guru Maharaj, and how should I do about his practice? Well, uh, I, I think you just leave him and you just show him how you practice. And you let him see how you practice and you tell him that, you know, this is your fault, you're doing like this and you're doing bhakti and if he's also devotee, then he should also do like you. You know, he may not do 16 rounds, but he shouldn't try to stop you from chanting and from being a devotee. Yes. You know, he may not be a very good devotee, that's okay. But so, but the main problem, I don't want that he's going to stop you or interfere with your practice. Mm. But about, about like, um, he's like, because he, he told me about, about Rakanuka Bhakti, but at first I don't understand. And, um, Maybe. Well, he, he's not doing Raganuga Bhakti because he's not even chanting 16 rounds. So how can he be doing Raganuga Bhakti? Yes, but but I, I, I give some... Yes, 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 I know. But um, my question is, I should like have some time to discuss with him more if, if he can accept in our Iskon style because I, I, I need him to 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 transfer to, to live with me in Thailand. But if he don't, maybe I will leave. Kumaraj, how about your opinion? Yes. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful. Don't, don't try to go ahead too quickly. You take more time and get to know him better and find out and decide for yourself, do you want to live with him? Are you able to live with him peacefully? Okay, good. So you be patient and just wait and let's see what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to be a devotee in his he was a devotee in Iskon before. Um, he took diksha. I and think he was in Iskon before. Um, he been to follow Iskon, but at that time he think uh, um it's very hard practice something like that. But after that, he found uh Bhakti Narayan Swami. Mm -hmm. Then he um decide to be his disciple in your bhakti sampradaya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's all right. But of course, now he's not following anything. <laughs> he doesn't follow anything very well. Yes, yes, yes. Although he, but, took, although he took initiation, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. he, he took Brahman Diksha already. <laughs> took but Brahman. now... <laughs> but now that he didn't any seva, he, uh, at his place he lived so far from association about about the devotee. Mm -hmm. But I told him because I, I need to engage about service and I, I still engage uh, association with devotee and he know uh, at that time as he came to Thailand. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. I will take much. So, yeah. When, when is he coming? Um, after we have some problem, I didn't plan. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't discuss about, about marriage now because in, in my mind, I'm not ready. Oh, you're not ready, yeah? Yes, many problem. Mm -hmm. And I am not in the mood for marriage now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Maharaj, okay. All right. I will take time, Guru Maharaj. 
please bless me if Krishna yeah. if Krishna wants yeah okay bless you do the right thing you know what what you want that's very good yes okay better be careful slow and care be, be more careful get to know the man better All right, not a problem. That's good. Very good, Vishnu Priya. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for mercy me always. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Next question from Yuvati Satimata. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, devotees. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances of Guru Shishiva Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, is it possible that we have anarthas but no attachments? Me, no, at no attachment, no material attachment. Uh, yes. We, but we have anarthas, but no uh, material attachments. Not possible. Yes, if you have anarthas, anarthas, of course, there are different kinds of anarthas. Some anarthas are due to offenses. Some, some anarthas are due, as you said, material attachment, material desires. So there are different kinds of anattas, you know, it's not all attachments, but one, one way in which you may say no, no attachment, but you're attached to the ego, attached to the false ego, the false ego is the cause of anattas. So you want to get rid of false ego. False ego, we may think I have no no attachments. And you may have no attachments, but you can still have an artist, you can still be offensive. So you so okay, you could say, you're right, you could say that it's possible to have an artist and not to have attachments. But you have attached you have attachments to pride, you have subtle attachments. So we have to be free of all attack, we have to be free of all anartas. So anartas can be gross, it can be subtle also. You have to get rid of all your anarthas. Okay. Okay. Next question from Vaishnavi. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Um, my uh, Guru Maharaj, my understanding is uh, only when we cross the stage of Anartha Nivarti, we can develop an eagerness uh, and uh, we can uh, develop spontane spontaneous devotion to Krishna. Yes. Okay. And then we should remember an eternal devotee in Vrindavan. Um, 
I was thinking we we are all uh, actually the servants of Rupa Goswami, right? We are all followers of Rupa Manjari, so we will be all the servants of uh, Rupa Manjari in the spiritual world. We usually remember our Acharya, our Guru Maharaj, right? Guru Maharaj, or who is this eternal devotee? Well, it will be different for different people. It's a person, it's, it's up to the, every individual who they're attracted to follow. Yeah. Now somebody yeah. wants to follow Mother Yashoda. Somebody wants to follow Lalita. Somebody else may want to follow Vishaka. They're different gopis, different moods. It's not the same for every devotee. Every it's, everyone's an individual, and some people will be following the cowherd boys. So the name of the Jina got ham wa. Ngan sawok lao tu kon ya. Kue ga cha pen puri cha den roi tam rupa Goswami, chai mai tu kon ga cha pen nei alom nan mu nei chai mai. แต่ในกุมาก็ตอบว่าแล้วแต่สาวกแต่ละคนเนี่ยก็มีอารมณ์รักไม่เหมือนกันบางคนก็อาจจะชอบโกปีบางท่านเป็นลลิตาวิชาคาหรือว่าใครก็อาจจะชอบสาวกบางท่านเป็นเพื่อนอของคริสนาหรืออะไรเนี่ยเบสกุลมาเลยใช่ไหมสตาร์Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Guru Maharaj. Yeah. It's very difficult to cross an anivarti, right? Yes. <laughs> it is. It's very difficult. It's a big stage. It's a big stage. It takes a lot of effort. Endeavor. Right. Yeah, yeah, we have to be, re be really serious, Guru Maharaj, to cross this street. Yes. Anartanivati. Right. Yes. I think if we take up Krishna consciousness, so we should at least cross this street, right, Guru Maharaj, in one lifetime, or it's, uh, it's a really a high, uh, very high ambition. No, in this lifetime you should do it. Yeah, we should. We should. If we're very serious, if we make efforts and so on, if we're strict in our practice, serious, dedicated, determined, then we can do it. Yes. Definitely. This lifetime must. เราถ้าเราปฏิบัติอย่างจริงจังเนี่ยเราก็จะสามารถข้ามพ้นระดับแห่งอนาถเนวิธีเนี่ยได้ภายในหนึ่งภายในชาตินี้ Yeah we are chanting sixteen rounds we are hearing every day is it good enough Guru Maharaj or what is it usually the mistake we do that will prevent us from anarth nevarti or Well maybe inattentive chanting Maybe our chanting is not very good, not very good quality. You know, 16 rounds, but we should try to avoid offenses. We should chant with attention. Yeah, yes. Mm. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Yeah, yes. So, yeah. And we should try to chant at least 16 rounds. We should try to chant more. We should try to chant more. Yes. Every day or on special days? Well, every especially day. on a courtesy, you should try to chant more, but every day, yeah. If you can, you know, that's good, you know. If you can chant more rounds, then more practice makes perfect. The more we chant, then the better our chanting will become. Yes, 
but especially on a courtesy and holy days like Janmashtami and so on, we should try to chant more. Yeah, you said 25 rounds. We have to chant 25. But that was what Prabhupada said to us, yeah? Yeah, yes, Prabhupada said to us, yes, 25. But some devotees, they chant six, 64. They will chant 60, 64 rounds. Yes, Guru Maharaj. It seems impossible for me. <laughs> yes, it's not easy. Anyway, if we, yeah. if, if we chant if we chant sixteen rounds, then we have yeah. to do, we have to do service. So you're doing a, quite a bit of service there. That's good. You do service. And you're, yeah. you're, maybe you not can chant more rounds, but do service. You know, yeah. then keep yourself busy in the service of Krishna. And that, yeah. that's very good. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Then gradually as you get older, you'll chant more. Yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can try, uh, yeah, except for the summer, I have uh, in the winter not much service, Guru Maharaj. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can try a little bit. Uh, yeah, for me, chanting still struggling, uh, very inattentive. Yes, Guru Maharaj, I can try it. I, I really sit to do attentive chanting, but uh, I don't know, uh, I become inattentive after some time. Yes. Yeah. I have to practice. Yes, Guru Keep practicing. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Guru And pray. Pray, yes. Krishna. Call out to Krishna. Krishna, help me to chant. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Thank you, Guru, Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Any other questions there? Uh, Yogita Mataji also got a question. Thank you, Mataji. Please ask some humble obeisances for the all gross to you, Srila Prabhupada and Gauranga Chai. Gurudev, uh, I am failing to understand this point here. Uh, I thought uh, I always keep on thinking we're eternal servants of Gurudev and that is really something that i'm happy to pursue but then yeah when you know everybody says uh you should aspire to be a servant of either one of the sakis or yashoda mai or one of the friends or somebody in goloka vrindavan then you can follow that line so Gurudev, i am failing to understand if i'm eternally supposed to be your servant then how is it or why is it that i'm supposed to and i will follow their line then i'm I'm not able to get this word there. Can you please kindly explain? Well, generally, the spiritual master is also in that line, you see. So you're following the spiritual master. You're a servant of the spiritual master. Mm. The spiritual master is also following that line. He's following in the mood of his spiritual master. And the spiritual masters, the line of the cyclic succession, that they were all, many of them were manjaris. And they were manjaris, and they were gopis. So we, we should be cultivating. Them. And if they're not manjaris, then they're associates of Lord Nityananda and spreading the Sankirtan movement. It's understood that the spiritual master will either be in, in the mood of a uh, one of the, the, the cowherd girls of Vrindavan, like the gopis or manjaris, or else he will be the associate of Lord Nityananda in spreading the Sankirtan movement. Mm. So we should oh. follow, follow that kind of mood. Okay, so nothing as such like uh, separately aspired 
to become a servant of, like they say, Yashoda Mai, or I mean, it, that's why I got confused on hearing that. I was like, huh? But aren't we following our Gurudev? I mean, so I couldn't tally the both together. I was like, okay. It's, it really confused me on that aspect. Well, you're not on that level yet. You have to follow the spiritual master. Oh, okay, so I'm clear on that, Gurudev. I'm happy with that. I'm otherwise getting confused when they say, oh, mm -hmm. find one of the gopis that you like so, and follow her, want, want to follow you, her. You just, you just keep following the spiritual master. Okay, great. Thank you and so sp much, Gurudev. Spiritual master means Prabhupada, the founder. Right? He's the Shiksha Guru for all of us. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're following Srila Prabhupada. You know, you may connect, you may feel something for me, but I want to connect you to Prabhupada. Yeah, I've always Prabhupada, been thinking I'm following you, Gurudev. <laughs> because Prabhupada's the founder, you see, and Prabhupada's the one who's, we're reading Prabhupada's books and we're in Prabhupada's society. So my duty is to connect you to Prabhupada. Mm. So you want to also develop your love for Prabhupada. That's why we do Guru Puja every morning. And that's why we have Prabhupada in the temple room there. So that we can all have a relationship with Prabhupada. Mm. So it, it's really important. You want to follow the spiritual teacher, you should follow our founder, Acharya. Right? And follow Prabhupada will connect you to all the other Acharyas. And the Prabhupada will connect you to his guru. And his guru will connect you to Lord, you go all the way up to Lord Chaitanya. Mm. You see, this is the parampara. Mm -hmm. As years ago, Gurudev, you had told me at that time, you had taught me that, uh, you know, uh, when, I was, when I told you I was talking to you, your pictures and relating my, my whatever was ongoing in life. And that at that time, you told me to speak to Srila Prabhupada. And I started from that day and a close bond somehow has developed. And, uh, but I really, I mean, just to be honest, I really thought, Following this pressure master means following you. And <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Okay. So, okay. So, you mean following Srila Prabhupada, but. Yes, because Prabhupada's the founder. He's the Adi Guru and he's the Shiksha Guru for everyone. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay good. Then. Clear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, Arjuna. Yes, that's the last one. No more questions. Okay, well, thanks, Arjuna, for the translation. Thank all the devotees for listening and participating. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shilaprabhad ki jai. Gurudev ki jai. Gorbank to Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai.